You guys, I have my laptop back. I started editing this video together and realized I didn't say hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Hattie Grace, author of Return to Sherwood. Yay. Back to the story. Which means I can do my story time. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I can do my story time video for tomorrow's vlog. But um, I was not really prepped to do this tonight, so I'm going to pull up. This is the first time I'm opening it, you guys. Moment of truth. Let's see if the demon's still there. Um, anyway. Whoa. Whoa. It all looks so different and clean, and none of my things are on. I have to download everything. Anyway, it's not blinking. We're great. <clears throat> The point is, I'm going to pull up my notes on like the timeline that I've been keeping for my script for the story time video, <sighs> and we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. That sounded bad, but it wasn't. It was just the sticker that was on the computer. Unknown full diagnostic HP laptop Windows blinking issue. That is what happened. Also known as demon entering laptop. So. Let's see. Oh, I don't even have Chrome on here? Come on, you guys. Oh, no, I'm not on the internet anymore. Oh. Oh. <sighs> so, yeah. This story started on August 22nd when I was editing the Preptober vlog that started in August. It was like an August Preptober vlog. <laughs> and I was editing it so I could upload it and I was behind that day because I was editing it the day that it was supposed to go up rather than prior which I'd like to do prior but that just hadn't worked out so I was editing it the day that it was supposed to go up and then my computer had a demon and it would not work and it was just blinking download failed <laughs> egads download failed I love that it says egads with an exclamation mark I would start this story time explanation but I don't have my notes put up, pulled up because they're on wait, Google Docs, hold that thought while my computer tries to figure itself out. I shall open Google Docs. I should have done this previously. I don't use my phone for anything, guys. I hate my phone. Story time possessed computer. That's the one. Anyway, the first week of August was perfect. I was reading a lot. I was getting prepped for my brother's wedding. There was a lot of great things happening. And then the second week, I don't remember much to be honest, it's all a blur. But then in week three, everything went crazy. <laughs> Hot. Okay, I made myself some tea, and I'm ready to walk through whatever this timeline was. I stopped taking notes at some point in this adventure, so we'll see how far we get. But, <clears throat> let's see, we went over the first week, which went well, and I don't remember week two of August. <sighs> Sorry, burning fingers. <clears throat> in week three, I broke my phone. So, that, oh, that story. I had an old dinosaur phone for the entirety of me owning a phone. Um, I don't know, like three or four years or something? I don't know. And then, last year, in March, I finally got a smartphone. And I didn't get it a case or anything, I just I had the phone. And it was fine. For like a year and a half, it was fine. I didn't, like drop it, there was no correct screens, there was nothing. It was fine. And then, I finally gave in the week of the wedding, and was like, okay, I should get a case for my phone. And the day before the case came, I dropped my phone and completely broke the screen, and it was a complete disaster, and I had to get a new one, which has a case, and a screen protector, and all the things. But it was just, it was just, it was the day before the case came, after a year and a half of being fine. It was, it was too much. So that happened. Um, and then like, five days later, the demon entered my computer, and it was blinking, like, you would not believe, and I couldn't click on anything within the like, fraction of a second that it was not blinking. It was freaking me out and annoying, and I was not happy. And that night, well, when it started happening, while I was editing that fateful video, I messaged my old brother about it and was like, what is happening? Help! But he was at work, so that night at 10 o'clock, 
um, he called me and we talked through things. And I tried to be very prepared for this conversation and took my computer downstairs so that I wouldn't be waking up the small children who live right next to me. Um, and I was, you know, I was ready for this. I didn't grab my warranty or like any of the paper thing. He kept asking for things that I had to come back upstairs and grab things and go back downstairs. And then he'd talk about something else and I had to come back upstairs and grab something else and go back downstairs. So really, I was not at all prepared to be downstairs and not waking people up. It was just a disaster all around. But we talked, I don't know, for like an hour that night and tried different things. Like, um, he tried to get me, like, to walk me through opening the computer. <laughs> I don't speak tech. <laughs> uh, anyway, but I had to unscrew this stuff, but I couldn't get it to actually open, so that failed. And then he tried to walk me through getting in safe mode so that we could tell if it was still blinking while in safe mode, because that would tell him something technological about hardware. I don't know. I'm not a tech person. Um, but I couldn't get into safe mode because I could not get the right password. He kept telling me the password was wrong. The password was wrong. His password was wrong. And then I spent the next three days trying every single password that I ever remember using. Even passwords that I had in high school that I never used on this computer. I was just trying every password imaginable. Um, and yeah, I could not get into safe mode. The password would not work. And then on Monday, <laughs> which was, what, like the third day after the demon had entered my computer, I was talking to a couple of my friends about this whole fiasco, and I wanted to show them how annoying it was that I could not get into safe mode. So I typed in the first password that I had tried that Saturday, <laughs> and I had continued to try throughout the weekend, and I typed it in, and I was like, watch, it just doesn't do it. And then it opened up, and I was like, seriously, why is, why is this this way? Why? I mean, I appreciate that you're open now, but why? Uh, so that was annoying. So for the rest of that week, let me read my timeline again, the rest of that week, I was unable to connect to the internet in safe mode, um, and kept up communication with my brother trying to figure out how to get on to the internet, like with ethernet cables and things. It was all beyond my pay grade, really. Um, <laughs> and, but then on September 1st, I was able to connect to the internet. I don't remember why or how. But I got my computer onto the internet, and I managed to, this took several tries, but I managed to get Chrome to open in between the flashing, like I timed the flashing perfectly, because right after it flashed, for like the briefest fraction of a, section, a second, my computer would work like a click on things, but it had to be right after the flash, because if there was any period of time after the flash, then it, nothing worked. You could click and nothing would happen, and then it would flash again. Ugh, it was very annoying. But I managed to get... Chrome open, so I spent another evening messaging my older brother and um, <laughs> trying to <laughs> download certain drives or drivers, whatever they're called, and um, you know, get my computer to work again. But that did not work either. Nothing changed. The computer was still possessed. Oh, <laughs> the end. So I have September first on my timeline, and like the connecting to the internet and getting on Chrome, and then the messaging my brother to download drivers and such like. But then underneath it, it says, begin using computer despite the glitches. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I did. I used I used it as well as I could. I edited a video to see if I could do that, because I was trying to figure out if I could just use it and deal with having a demon-possessed computer for as long as I had to deal with that. Um, but then I finally decided to take it to the computer hospital, and three days later, two days later, I have my computer back. I also, because this is just how I am, I vlogged the whole fiasco, so. I am filling out the uh, timeline script for <laughs> the long saga of my computer. I have a bunch of stuff open right now because I've been, you know, trying to fix things tonight with my brother, <sighs> which is super, super helpful. But I figured I needed some sort of visual context once I do the story time video. So this blinking in the background is what the problem is. Boom. It was faster the first day that it freaked out. It was like 
so fast with the blinking I could not click on anything. Today it slowed down enough that I could get onto Google, which is over here, um, which is why we've been able to actually do things now, which is super helpful. Ugh, this has just been a long thing. But my taskbar down here doesn't work. I can't click on anything. I couldn't like open the start menu or anything. Nothing was working down here because it blinks away so fast. So, yeah. Hopefully we can get something fixed. Hey. Just waiting to see if we actually fixed it. I'm going to have to sit down. Okay. Dang it, it's still blinking. <sighs> Boo. I am possibly on the verge of going to get my computer fixed or taken to someone who can diagnose it and tell me if it's worth fixing. <sighs> you guys. It's rainy and cold, which I actually love rainy, dreary days. They make me happy inside. But only if I get to sit by a window and watch the rain and drink some tea and read a book. Not like go out into the rain and dreariness. That's not happy. But then also just going out in general makes me unhappy because I am very anxious and I don't like human interaction. But we're gonna do this because we need an exorcist to get the demon out of my computer. Okay, to combat the- well, my hand is shaking. <clears throat> to combat the anxiety, I have my favorite pair of boots on. My little confidence boost boots. Uh, Yep, and I've given myself a little pep talk because I am confident and I am gorgeous and I own this town. <sighs> Not really, but that's how we're, that's how we're feeling. We're gonna go exercise the demon people. Let's let's do this. We are here. We are freaking out. Let's do this. Oh, you guys. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, I had to w walk because. Uh, I parked so far away. Hold that thought. Let me get the keys running. Or not the keys running, the car running with the keys. Anyway, I had to park so far away because um, there was no parking. And then I had to walk in the rain, which was fine, but then I couldn't see because my glasses fogged up. And I forgot my mask until I was like halfway down the sidewalk and I was like, what am I doing? Corona! And then I put my mask on and it was a whole disaster, you guys. And then uh, I got in there and showed them my demon possessed laptop and they were like, uh, well, this is probably a hardware issue. I don't know. Let's diagnose it. And I was like, great, thanks. Have my laptop. Um, and then I also took my old laptop from like three, four years ago before I got this demon possessed one. Um, because it just stopped turning on one day and I never took it to anyone to see if there was an issue. So I was like, as long as I'm bringing the demon possessed one, I'll bring the old one too and see. And then maybe I'll have two laptops. But they were like, uh, yeah, no, we could fix this, but it would be so expensive, you might as well buy a new one. And I was like, see, that's not the point. Just fix the demon possessed one and I'll be fine. <sighs> so there you go. That was the experience. And then I walked all the way back through the rain to my car and I just tried to get in my car and realized it was locked and I didn't have my keys. So I had to walk all the way back because I left my keys on the counter. These are still not wearable. I left my keys. <laughs> I had to go back to the computer hospital and re- like, you know, go in and get my keys and, ugh, you guys. This is why I don't human interact, because I'm terrible at it. Ugh, nope, still not wearable. I'm just, I can't drive home like this, you guys. Also, you're all, like, down there at this weird angle, because there's lots of people in cars around, because I'm, you know, I'm sort of downtown and there's humans around. They keep walking by and they probably think I'm talking to myself, which is weird, but I find it less weird than watching me talk to a camera. I'd rather they think I was talking to myself than to a camera. That's odd. There's something wrong with me, but it's fine. I'm gonna stop talking now because I need to drive home and drink some tea and chill. But I will see you in a bit because um, I don't feel like this video is over. Also, I don't know when this video is gonna be posted because I dropped my demon possessed laptop um, at the computer hospital and I don't know when I'm getting it back. And the last time I used these people, it took two weeks for them to fix the cracked screen, but um, really that was because they weren't communicating with me and they were very frustrating. You could watch that video. That happened during that arrival in 2019 and it was a whole disaster. 
I'm hoping this one's not. The young man who helped me was very kind, and he wasn't there the last time. I mean, he might have been, but he didn't help me the last time, so I, I have high hopes. Also, he was telling me all about different hard drives I could use if, like, it is a hard drive issue on the Demon Possessed computer, and the things he was talking about, I had no idea what he was talking about, and he pulled out, like, examples and set them on the counter and was like, this is the normal hard drive, hard drive, excuse me, with a little disky thing and it spins really fast and works really hard. And this is this other, I have no idea what the word he used was, but he's like, this is this other hard drive type thing. And it is all electronic, so it doesn't have the same issues and wear and tear and whatever. And I was like, okay, just do whatever it takes to not get another demon. That's, that's my level of technology. <laughs> That's what I understand. I have a demon and I need you to cast it out and then um, prevent more demons. I am home and I will soon be making myself some tea. I had a random thought as I was driving, um, just about my anxiety and such like. Because I, I mentioned that I was taking my computer back to the crappy service people that I really, really, really hated back in November. Uh, yeah, so I thought I would explain why I went back to them because the nature of my social interaction anxiety stuff whatever it is um is is such that i would prefer to go to a known location with a set of people that i have interacted with before even though they were crappy rather than an unknown unknown location with potentially better service it was just i don't like going to new places or meeting new people so i was like i will go to the crappy people so i don't have to go to some place i've never been that was my thought process. Whether this was the right decision remains to be seen. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping it's better than last time. Uh. I helped them out. The biggest issue last time was the lack of communication because they couldn't get into my computer because when I had given them my password, they had typed it in wrong into the little computer to know what the password was. <clears throat> so they could not get into my computer and like, I don't know, a week or something, after not hearing from them, I called them and was like, hey, what's going on with my computer? And they were like, uh, we can't get in, so we can't check if it's working. And I was like, you weren't gonna call me and ask for the correct password? You were just gonna sit on that forever? You crazy people? So to prevent this particular issue, I wrote down the password on a sticky note and I stuck it on my computer when I took it in. So they have it. Also, I double did, double did? I double did. <laughs> I double did. I don't know what that is supposed to mean. I double checked the password three times with the dude actually he double checked it once and then i was like let's just repeat this a few times so that we both know that we both know this password also it's on a sticky note on the laptop if you get confused thanks i've got some tea i have a book i have a window to see the rain i'm gonna try to be as peaceful as possible to recover from the adrenaline of <laughs> all the activity uh. Also, I did mention before going that going out in the rain didn't make me incredibly happy, but as it turned out, it did, because I love rain, and I don't particularly love humans. So in my long walk down the sidewalk to get to the computer hospital, and then to my car, and then back again, because I forgot my keys, um, yeah, the rain was just sort of like my happy place, my little familiar loved security blanket or something. I was just like... Let's focus on the rain and how much we love rain and not the humans that are on the street walking in this similar direction that we are walking. They called me and it's only been a day. This is this is going well. I should have done this at the beginning. This this didn't have to be a saga. It could have been short and sweet. Guys, the computer hospital just called and uh, hold on. I keep trying to do these and then do other things while while I'm doing these videos. Anyway, the computer hospital called, computer's ready, and I'm gonna go pick it up, and they close at seven. <laughs> and I live on the other side of town, but hey look, there's my camera. Anyway, they said that they would stay a few minutes if I could get across town tonight. I was like, yes, let's do that. So I'm gonna stop talking and go do that. And I don't know what I was concerned about because I made it with 20 minutes to spare. Apparently it's not as far as across town as I thought it was. Guys, we did it. We have a working computer, presumably. I haven't actually pulled it out and turned it on, but we have the computer back. <sighs> I am out of breath from walking. Let's go home.